Okay, so I've moved this over and these. Uh, that's the rock bar. It's in a pipe to drain from over there, but I've got an issue that the pipe is clogged up with some plastic gunk. I don't know who the fuck stuffed it up, but somebody who doesn't really care very much. Anyway, I started cleaning this up, sweeping, and I figured I might as well do a few things that I intended to do, and I don't know if I put it in my notes, I'm pretty sure I did, um, at least in the video notes. Um, I've got a trench here dug up, filled partly, not completely. Um, with some gravel that I had inside. I'm starting to finish up around here. That's the stuff that was stuck up in there, mostly plastic. So that's why I've got a rock bunker. These will go directly in front, and then that will go to spread the drain water so it doesn't have so much of a velocity. Otherwise, it's going to mess the ground up over there scouring the surface and then maybe digging a trench or something. Anyway, so I've already loosened this up. Um, that's all the soil, that dark colored patch right there that I dug up from here and tried to scatter it over there. You could probably see a little bit of a trail there. Um, I only got to the, um, the first block uh, at the second bench. So there's, I think, no, there might be just one block, but I think it's I think it's two, um, but if there's just one, then it's for the second bench. I got as far as past the first bench, but I didn't think that I'd have enough gravel. Um, I'm already about, I'm already about like halfway down one of the buckets that I have. Five gallon uh, planter uh, pots filled with gravel. Um, so I've got a, I did some sweeping. I already loosened the soil up a little bit. I'll be digging that all the way over here. And then um, I also emptied these, which I didn't want to do, because um, when I first got here in 2017, you know, I used to live here when I was a kid, but when I first got here, back here from the States in 2017, I um, also threw that soil over here from down there. I. Uh, I noticed that when I started cleaning, they started throwing more and more dirt, or more and more, sorry, I moved this dirt, more and more garbage, uh, filth, shit, basically, literal shit. I had a pile of dirty diapers here, I could only assume, I mean, I didn't want to open them, right, and now uh, Christmas presents, but um, they had garbage the topping all overflowing, and, you know, I've already highlighted how, you know, I dug that, and they filled in, I dug that, I cleaned it out, I uh, took all the broken glass and debris, and I put some topsoil in, and um, I covered it with a layer of mulch, and they stripped it, they stripped it, and then that over there, but right now all I'm covering is I started on that drainage ditch, which... Hopefully it'll be done before it's too dark, but supposedly they've got a light that turns on where the fuck over there. So, you know, even then. So that, that garbage can is full now. Uh, I also went ahead, or it's near full. I'm walking without the crutches, but I'm kind of limping. I also went ahead and I did a little maintenance here. It's getting dark, so I realize, you know, I'm not gonna have time just in case they ruin anything. Move some of the rocks up. I mean, I had this, I had some larger stones, actual stones here, not just concrete scrap uh, left over from their stuff um, that I brought over from down the hill and all around uh, for the heat island effect. They're a little, you know, Thermal mass and reflective heat. Some of the stones are still there. That and that. But most of them they just tossed around. I had to I had to roll them up again. Like I brought some up from down the hill, like down at the busiest road for around here, except for the main one further down. Um, so it was it's pretty annoying, but that's there. 
cut that, like I said before. I did a little cleaning here, just superficially. They keep fucking with that. Hopefully the tree will recover this set of storms. But yeah, that's what I'm at right now with those. Um, I'll try to finish up. If not, I'll leave it so that it's not a big deal if I don't. Can't be worse than the way it was and the way it was headed, except to continue heading in that direction. And I'm not gonna fucking... <sighs> work harder than they do. I, I, I do, but... I'd rather not when I can avoid it. I don't get paid for it. They get little treats. Good dog. So, that's recovering. Fortunately, so when I prune, when I cut it back, when I print it back, I'll remove at least one, probably the bottom one, if not both the bottom ones, and leave two up at the top. Um, I'm not sure if both those or just one, but really don't think I'll remove that. I'll have a good look at how much energy is flowing through that one right there. But uh, I'll need another stake. And I also cleaned up the road a little bit. Oh yeah, cats behaving well. If you'll notice, let me see if you get out of the road. She's friendly. So, you know, if you see this and you can take her in and you don't mind her being an indoor cat, I do not want her outdoors. This is training. Um, she's only allowed out supervised. Um, she's going to be fixed, hopefully. Uh, she can be kind of cat friendly. I'm trying to socialize her. <sighs> Nobody ever sees these, but whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, don't let her out is horrible for the ecosystem it's horrible for them she might get run over she, it's they spread diseases to other cats or other animals they kill everything even if they're not gonna eat it um, just for fun and they don't care you know that their shit is dirtying the waterways or you know whatever right um, and feed her a you know low grain Low grain diet, if possible, as much meat as possible. There's some grain in their diet, but as much as possible meat, please. And uh, look after her health, be able to afford her veterinary bills, um, keep her off the road. That thing's reflective, but she could easily get run over here. People speed up and down this fucking road. There's no speed bumps. I don't care about pedestrians or pets or anything. Um, so yeah. Please do get in touch with me if you want a little, she's a girl, um, cat, and if you're able to take care of her. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, um, I might name her before I give her away, but if you uh, contact me soon enough, she won't have a name. But I think she might need a name so she recognizes when she's being called and that sort of thing. As far as I know, no ringworm or any of that sort of thing. All right, cut. I gotta get up and finish with the start. All right. I think she's pretty sensible, smart. She won't stray too far. She gave me attitude earlier because I knocked her off the wall because she was trying to start a fight with. Uh, another cat, black cat. I mean, technically he started it, so. Uh, 